my Enoch family. Isn't it a wonderful day just to be alive? A wonderful opportunity to just thank God for allowing us to be here one more time. You know, have you ever um, got to the end of your week and asked yourself a simple question? Uh, or why have I allowed other people to cause me so much distress and so much anxiety? I, I cannot tell you the number of times in my past when I have got to the end of a work day or got to the end of my week and look back and realize that had it not been for what someone had said or what someone else had done, that it would have been a wonderful week. But I allowed somebody else to get in my head and cause me not to have a good day. You know, in fact, uh, when I was still working out there in corporate America, there were even times when I would be dreading Monday. I would leave work on Friday and I would be so dreadful of Monday that I couldn't even enjoy my Saturday. I couldn't even enjoy my Sunday worship because I knew I had to go back to work on Monday and face some devils on my job. <laughs> Listen, you know what? It is amazing how we allow other people to take away our joy of today. You know, I want to share with you something from the book of Ephesians. And here's what it says in the fifth chapter, verses 15 and 16. Paul tells us, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now, but what does that really mean for us in our daily walk? And how can I use that to ensure that I have a great day, a great week, a great month, and even a great life? Think about what Paul says. First thing he says is this. Make sure that you walk in a way that allows you to be careful about who you allow to come into your life. Because you can't let everybody in. You can't listen to what everybody has to say. And you certainly shouldn't allow how people think about you to change how you feel about you. Now, of course, sometimes people can give you good advice, but you have to take it in a way where you understand whether or not they're trying to critique you for your own good or whether or not they're trying to cut you down because they are jealous of where you are in life. And he also says this, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Well, what does that mean to redeem the time? What Paul is saying is we have to recognize that every moment is precious. Every second that God gives to us is precious. It is so important for each of us to take good stock in every moment that we have. Here's what we know. This day will never come again. This hour will never come again. This second will never come again. Once it is past, it is done. And you can never go back. You can never recruit it. So for every hour I spend angry with someone because they said something nasty to me, that's an hour that I will not get back. That's an hour that I wasted. Every day that I spend worrying about what somebody did to me or how someone acted around me, that's a day that I can't get back. That's a day of joy that I lost because of somebody else. I am committed, and I hope you are too. I'm committed to following Paul's advice. I'm going to redeem every day, meaning I'm going to claim my time. I'm going to claim my moments. I'm going to claim my hour. I'm going to claim my day. When he says to redeem the time, he means take your time back. Realize that this is your time, your opportunity to do and, and act in a way that not only gives God glory, but helps you to feel good about being a child of the living God. There's so many things that can impact you negatively if you allow them to. So don't give other people your joy. Don't give other people your time. It is for you. And understand that you are important. Your time is important. Take time for yourself. Sometimes you have to say no to what's not important so you can say yes to what is important. And you are important. You are worthy 
of joy. You are worthy of doing those things that ensure your health, your wealth, and your benefit. So as you walk out this week, I want you to walk out with your head held high and say to yourself, I am important. My God has ordained that I am important. And therefore, I'm going to make sure I spend every moment of every day rejoicing in my God. May God bless you and may God continue to keep you. Let's pray right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the wherewithal to redeem our time and recognize that you have blessed us with joy. You have blessed us with happiness. You've blessed us with victory. We thank you for that, Lord, and we claim it right now. Keep us, Father, throughout the day and throughout the week until such time as we are assembled again. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. May heaven continue to smile upon you and walk with you. And I know that you're going to have a good week because God has already ordained it. Take your time and let the devil get out of your life.